Today in this video, I'm going to introduce not one, not two, but three free AI coding tools or vibe coding tools that you can access for free without having the need to enter any credit card information. Just go ahead and sign up on the platform and you can start using it right away. And now the interesting part or the cherry on the top is the fact that you can access the latest Claude 3.7 Sonnet AI model and also Gemini 2.5 Pro model for free within this platform. And as you might already know, Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude 3.7 Sonnet are two of the best AI models out there when it comes to coding side of things. So if that sounds interesting, let's quickly get started. So these are all the free AI coding tools that we'll be talking about in this video. And the first one is called as Tray AI, the second is Bolt.diy and the third one is called as Firebase Studio. So first up, we'll begin with Tray AI. So Tray AI is pretty similar to that of let's say Cursor AI or Windsurf and it is actually a VS Code 4 with added AI capabilities. So you could say Tray AI is actually built on top of VS Code with added AI capabilities and you can use it just like you would use let's say Cursor or Windsurf. And the best part about Tray AI is the fact that it allows you to use both Google Gemini 2.5 Pro and also Claude 3.7 Sonnet AI models which are known for its coding abilities completely for free without paying anything. So the first thing that you're going to do is to head over to tray.ai and you can head over to this page right here and if you want to you can scroll to the page and find all this information about this AI coding tool and now as opposed to other tools like let's say bolt.diy or firebase studio tray AI is something that you need to download and install right so this is actually a VS code fork so you need to first download and then install the same so you can click on this option that says download and as you can see tray AI is available for both Mac and Windows and Linux support is coming soon. So the first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and download the same and install the same and again you'll have to sign up for a new account as well. After you install and open up Tray AI, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see and already by the looks of it you could already tell it looks pretty similar to that of Cursor and Windsurf. And again you get all the cool features that are available already within VS Code. For example if you click on this button right here you'll be able to install all these extensions that are available on the VS Code you know, extension store so you can install all of that. And now the interesting part of Tray AI is its AI capabilities, right? So you can click on this button right here to toggle and enable the AI sidebar. And as you can see, here you have an input box and this is the place where you will give all these inputs or let's say prompts. And if you click on this drop down menu right here, this is where things get interesting. As you can see, you can use all of these AI models completely for free without paying for it. For example, we have Claude 3.5 Sonnet, 3.7 Sonnet, Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, the latest one that is 0506. Then we have Gemini 2.5 Flash, GPT 4.140, even Deep Seek versions as well. And now yet another interesting thing is that if you click on this option right here that says Add Model, you'll be able to select a provider and select the model and then put your API key and add the same in here. And now once you add a custom AI model, you can go ahead and access it within this you know interface right here. And to quickly begin, I'll go ahead and drag and drop a blank project or let's say a blank uh, folder into Tray and open it up in here. And let's say I want to install Next.js and start a blank project, start from a blank project. So all I got to do is to put the cursor in the input box right here and give it a prompt. So in this case, I'll go ahead and invoke Aqua and I can go ahead and say install and create a new Next.js project. And as you can see, Aqua has filled it nicely for me. And I'll go ahead and click on this drop down menu right here and select a model. So in this case, I'll keep it as 3.5 Sonnet and all I gotta do is to press enter. And now as you can see here, Trey is suggesting us to run this command right here to create a new Next.js project. So all I need to do is to press this run button right here. And now it will open terminal and run that particular command. And it is also giving me all these instructions as to how I should set up the project. For now, I'll go ahead and press enter to all the defaults. So let's wait. All right, so Next.js is now installed and Trey is suggesting us to use this command right here that is npm run dev to start the development server and access our application. So I'll go ahead and click on this run button and it should now start the development server and I can open this localhost 3000 and access the same. So there you go. Here we have the project opened up. So this right here is the boilerplate page of Next.js. So as you saw, Trey gave us all the commands that we need to run and here we have a blank Next.js project. And next up, let's just say I want to create a landing page for my SaaS application. For that, all I got to do is to go ahead and put the cursor in here and I'll invoke Aqua and I can go ahead and say, create a sleek and modern looking landing page for my SaaS product named Misty. So it is a SaaS product that allows users to create UGC ads using AI. 
and now I as soon as I lift the finger of the function key everything is nicely filled in for me and now I'll keep okay let's say I select cloud 3.7 so at this time and I can click on the send button right here and now trace says analyzing and let's wait all right so it says creating a modern landing page for misty and let's first create the main page component and now as you can see tray ai is now writing all the code and it will take some time so let's wait till it is completed i'll go ahead and click on this accept all button and as you can see the ai has created a simple landing page for our app okay and in a similar fashion i can go ahead and give even more prompts and have the ai generate or let's say write code for me and i can take it up from here so this is how basically how this whole thing works and yeah this is for tray ai so you can head over to tray.ai download the same and use any of these ai models completely for free so that's for tray ai and now the second one in our video is bold.diy so a lot of you might be already aware of bold.new like the paid ai coding tool and bold.diy is like the open source version of the same and using it is pretty simple all you need to do is to head over to bold.diy or click the link in the description below and visit this github repo right here and now up to the top all you need to do is to click on this button right here and copy this clone url so all you need to do is to copy this url and next step i'll open terminal and i'll first cd into desktop and now all i gotta do is to give this command that is git clone and then paste this one right here that is this uh, url that you copied and you can just press enter okay as i have already installed bold.diy it is showing me this maybe i can go ahead and delete that real quick so i have deleted uh, the existing folder and now i can go ahead and give the exact same uh, command and as you can see the same has cloned into our desktop and now if you open the desktop you will find a bold.diy folder and next up i'll cd into bold.diy hit enter and next up i need to go ahead and install all these dependencies so i can go ahead and give pnpm install and i'll hit enter and now we are installing all the packages that we need to run bold.diy locally on our computer so let's wait okay so that is also done and now to start it all i need to do is to go ahead and run this command that is pnpm run dev and hit enter and it should now give me the local host address that i can visit so this one right here i'll press command okay maybe i can copy this one localhost 5173 open it up and there you go here we have installed bold.diy and if you want to find like a in-depth version where i explain everything as to how to install and set up bold.diy you can go ahead and click the i button or the link in the description below and watch a dedicated video about bold.diy or if you want to, you can also go ahead and read this guide right here and you can find more information so basically how bold.diy works is that you will need to bring your own api key and add it in the platform and then you can start using it for free so the platform is free but if you click on this drop down menu right here you will be able to find a lot of these providers for example here we have anthropic then google Hype, uh, hyperbolic hugging face mistral open router uh, perplexity and all that so let's say i want to use a model from anthropic so i can select this option right here and i can select a model let's say cloud 3.7 sonnet i'll select the same and next step i need to grab my api key and click on this button right here paste the api key and then i can start using it right away and again for using this uh, cloud 3.7 sonnet via anthropic you will need to pay obviously but to use it for free like let's say get a free api key all you need to do is to head over to open router and yeah just head over to open router and log into your account here i'm now logged into my open router account and i can click on this create api key option and let's say blah click on create and now i'll copy my api key and now i can head back to bolt and i'll click on this edit button right here paste the api key and click on save and basically open router is a platform that allows you to run a lot of these AI models in the cloud and then you can use it and the interesting thing about open router is the fact that you can access a lot of these free AI models uh, that you can access within the platform and you can use it without adding a credit card for example if i click on this models button right here i'll be able to find all these models that are available on the platform and if you find a tag that says free it means you can access all of these models for free as you can see it says zero dollars per million input token and zero million per output per million output tokens so you can use all of these ai models for free and now i can head back to bolt and maybe i can go ahead and search for let's say deep seek and uh, so this one right here that is deep seek v3 is actually a free one so i can select it and now i can go ahead and give it a prompt for example let's say hi and i can click on send 
and let's see another problem about using a free api key from open router or let's say a free model is that the model can be you know kind of slow which is kind of expected because a lot of these people will be using the free model via open router so that is kind of something that you need to expect so it won't be as snappy and depending on the model that you use and the kind of users who are already using the same the speed and responsiveness will differ and as you can see AI is still writing the response so let's wait anyways all right so there you go response generated hello how can i assist you today let me know what you would like to build or what problem you need help solving so you can go ahead and give some follow prompts and take it up from here you can upload images and do all that kind of stuff so this is basically how you use bolt.diy completely for free with a api key from open router so that's for bolt.diy and next up the third ai coding tool that you can access for free is firebase studio and now firebase studio is google's own vibe coding tool that you can use for free and to use it all you need to do is to head over to firebase.studio or click the link in the description below and you'll click on this option that says try firebase studio and now this right here is a ai coding tool that you can access right within a web browser so you don't have to download or install anything and next up once you log in this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see and you will need a google account so just go ahead and log into the same and towards the left you will find a input box and now all you got to do is to tell the ai exactly what you want to build so in this case let's say i want to create a simple landing page so i can go ahead and put the cursor in here invoke aqua create a landing page for my web development agency so i have given a simple prompt and now i can click on this option that says prototype with ai and let's wait and as you can see you can create all these projects like go python angular react nextjs i mean firebase studio supports all of that in each case let's wait so as soon as you give a prompt it will show you a app blueprint where it will show what it is planning to build so in this case hero section project showcase contact form service overview and also a content guidance tool and it is also showing us the style guidelines like the color palette layout typography iconography and animations and all that and if you want to make any changes you can just go ahead and tell the ai in here for example let's say i want to change the color scheme so i can go ahead and say could you please change the color scheme and i can hit enter and now the ai will go ahead and use a different color scheme for example this one right here and now i can go ahead and click on this prototype this app option and if you want to let's say add additional sections in here you can just go ahead and ask the ai the same and okay so as you can see the ai right within firebase studio is writing the initial version of the app in which case let's wait all right so there you go this writer is the initial version of the landing page that the ai has created for us and the contents are aligned towards the left it is not perfectly centered i mean it's decent okay so this is basically how you use firebase studio and next up if you want to make any changes you can go ahead and ask the ai and give the instructions in here and by the way if you want to watch a dedicated video as to how to use firebase studio you can click the i link at the i button above or link in description below and now next up to make any changes you can go ahead and tell the ai in this input box right here hit enter and the ai should do it and next up within firebase studio we also have yet another feature so you can if you click on this button right here you can move to the code mode so in code mode it will open a project idx kind of a interface like a code editor kind of interface and you will be able to find all these code right within your project like all these files for example if i open this components file here and sections here i can find all these files and also the code as well and now i can find a preview of the app in the web tab right here and if i move over to the gemini tab right here i should be able to use gemini and if i click on this drop down menu right here i'll be able to select the gemini model as well so here you have gemini 2.5 pro and now i can give follow up uh, prompts and then take it up from there and once you're ready you can even publish the site okay so that is basically how you use uh, google firebase studio so these are all the three ai coding tools that you can use for free right now so they are tray ai then we have bold.diy and also firebase studio and now the, the whole intention of this video was to introduce like just introduce all these platforms and there is an option to use such kind of free ai coding tools and not exactly what we built i know i did not cover much about any of these tools and again if you want to you can go ahead and explore it yourself or refer to the videos that i have created previously in this channel uh, by heading over to the link in the description below so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one